dancing and drama has always played a, a big part in the social life of the village and the area has a great tradition down through the years of uh, dancing uh, from the time the hall was built and even before the hall was built uh, a number of dances were held each year up in the school in Rat Coyle. The schoolroom would be cleaned out, this removed and many a good night was had in it and many a match made. Then the hall was built and things moved to the hall and uh, as well as the dancing, I suppose the other big thing of the time would have been drama. Down through the years, uh, most winters uh, would have had uh, a production and dating back to free electricity, the job of lighting the stage with tilly lamps in oil drums and things like that, it was something of a, a work of art. Uh, the lighting boys of the present day would have a lot to learn from the lads of that time. But uh, right up to, to this year, uh, drama has been uh, uh, the high point of the community council's year and activity. They run the production run for three, four, five nights depending, and this year we have uh, five nights each night. Uh, capacity crowd and uh, it would have sold a couple more nights if the wheel had been there. Uh, the dancing continues uh, with dancing once a month in the hall and uh, people travelling from places and big towns such as Artlow, Wicklow, Nace, uh, a Thai and a Scorty just to dance in Red Diamond. So I have many more to say to you except to sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm the one for you. Thank you. In my day, you'd never have thought of living in sin. Not with father jogging around. He was always preaching about fornication or something off the altar. God, I never knew what it meant, but it sounded like fun. <laughs> now, dim chairs, get him back out of What? Chuck, sure, it'll only take you a minute until you can really let yourself go. I know. Sure, Daddy only had a few old minerals. <coughs> minerals? Well, I'll tell you one thing, they're the first minerals I ever saw with heads on them. Well, there was one night, you see, we were going for gold, as they say. <laughs> and this bloody big tomcat let us squeal out of the corner. Sure, I jumped and something snapped. Wasn't me elastic either. Well, not quite as I am right now, but I can get spruced up a bit. There's nothing wrong with good, honest toil. You know, my father was a farmer. He had 200 acres on the Tipperary to Kenny Border. I see. Mm. You know, you have big, strong farmer's hands, just like my father's. Oh, they're all right. They're a bit of a nuisance when doing up the zip in my trousers. <laughs> well, I mean, you wouldn't really be my cup of tea. Oh, give me a handsome fireman any day. I've been trying to tell her that you probably have a flat battery under the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any future for us? Well, sure, we won't know unless we take a chance. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 